Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last video, we have seen how to call the post method using a JSON object. And now we will see how to call the post method without using a JSON object. And we will use a JSON file instead of JSON object. So how will I do that? So last time we have used ID, title and author, which we are passing through a JSON object like this. Through JSON.put, we have created an object and we have passed here in the body. Okay, but what I will do, I will just comment out this one. Now, I don't want to pass through the JSON object. I want to pass it through the files because when you're working in the actual environment, it might possible there are certain files which are already created for you. Okay, you don't have to create and spend time in creating the objects. That file has already been provided to you either in your framework or maybe you're getting these files from somewhere else. But basically, your file will already be there. Your JSON file will already be there and you have to use it. So let's create one JSON file and then we will see how to do that. So in my project, you can create a folder. I already have that folder. I don't need to create it. But if you don't have to uh, don't have the folder, just go to my project, right click new and then create folder from here. OK, so just create any random uh, folder. I have put a name as JSON file input. And here what I will do, I will create a new file. OK. So here I can give, I can give him any name here. I can give JSON one. Let's call it, or maybe call it JSON request one. All right. And I will type JSON because it's a JSON file, right? So I will click on finish. Okay. See the JSON file, you will get a curly, curly braces here. So that's a symbol for the JSON file. Okay, now you can put your JSON here. So what JSON we need to put, we have to put JSON something like this. Or maybe if you go into your uh, document, it will tell you how to put the JSON. So you have to put the data in this manner. So I will copy this and I will post it here. Okay, so I have pasted it. And if you want to format it, just do Control Shift A. Sorry, you have to do Control A and then control shift F. So it will get formatted. Okay, then control S. So now your JSON request one file has been created for you. And let me put here as a number 21 and 21 here also and 21 here also. So these kind of file will already be created for you in your frameworks. Okay, so let's close this file now. And now we have to call this file. So what we will do, we will create an object of file input stream. Okay, so to read any file, I have to create an object of file input stream. So that will be file input stream. And then I can give um, the variable name file input stream equal to new file input stream. All right, I will do control shift O so that uh, whatever the libraries are get imported. All right. Now in the file input stream, we have to give an object which is for the file because I need to give a file name here. OK, so what I will do, I will go here and uh, here I can type as new file. And inside that I need to give my file name. So where is my file of JSON? Do control shift O so that it can import the file also. It will tell me from where to import. I will say java.io.file finish. Okay, so where this file is, this is our file and I need to read that, right? So I need to get its path. Either I can give complete path or I can just give the path from here because this is my root folder. See, my test project is the root folder. Okay, so I don't require to give this complete path. I can just copy this path up to here and I can give in this new file. Okay, so this is my folder and this is my file. All right, so I have already given that file input stream. I am not using a JSON object. And here we have given JSON dot to string. What I can do, I can remove this. And instead of that, I can type my file input stream. This one. So let me just copy that. Okay, okay. Oh. Uh -huh. I'm thinking this copied something else. Wait. All right. So it get cut. 
So copy. Okay, see, this is my file input stream and there are many methods, you know, of the file input stream which I can use. All right. So what I will do in this body where I was calling JSON object, I will call a method called IO utilities. There is a class in Java which called IO utilities. Okay. So I will call that file. I will call that uh, method name and that I will pass it into this. Okay. Because this file input stream should be a method of that IO utils class. Okay. So what I will do just before this, I will give IO utils sorry io utils all right so this is one of the class which i can use io utils and then there's a method called to string okay to string and we have to look for the method which takes an input stream to string and this is the input stream method do we have any other method? Yes, this is the method which we want to use. Input stream with character set. Okay, because we need to give the character set here. So I'm giving a file input stream here. So let me just remove these arguments. Okay, and now I need to give a character set the format because this is, you know, sometime we have to give this character set and uh, we have to give the character set as UTF-8 for my JSON. So I'm giving that so that it can read it all right so this is what i have given in my body okay so i need to close this bracket all right let's see what does it give okay add throw declaration all right i am adding the throw declaration here okay so if you see here we are not using a json object here let me just remove this now all right so what we have done here we have given a file input stream in that file input stream, I have called the object new file. I have created this object and I have given my file json request onejson All right. Then I have called the base URI through rest assured.base URI. And then I am just giving my given when then I am setting a header. And then I am giving my body. In body, I am calling the iutils class and I am using two string method. And that there I have given the file input stream and uh, i have given this utf8 if you want you can you know just copy this line and you can give directly here but it's more cleaner if you give at the top okay and then you have called the post url and then we are asserting like before okay and if you see this we have 21 so we have to make sure before we're calling we don't have the number 21 here so if i give number 21 here so, all right so i don't think it give me anything okay so we don't have anything at 21 okay now let's see and if you read it here also you know you will not get anything as 21 28 is the last all right so now let's go ahead and uh, run this test ng test okay so it has ran and some error file not found json file input json request one dot json so it is not able to find this file Okay, let me give a dot before this. Maybe because it's not able to find the root folder. Okay, test ng test. Okay, let's see now. All right, so this time it seems it has run correctly. The dot was missing because in order to specify a VN root folder, we have to give dot and then we have to give our folder name and then the file name. Okay. So it seems it has been run and we have got here response also 21. See, this is what we have sent 21. Okay. And it has been passed. Okay. And we got 201, which is asserting and that's why it is passed. Okay. And if you want to see here, just enter here. You will see 21 here. And if you type 21, specifically if you call this, it will show you this so that's mean this is the way we can call and we can call our url for json with the json file okay the last time what we have done we were calling the json through the json object but now we are calling json file see why i'm telling you all these things because sometime you have to create json object sometime there already be a json file ab available for you so you have to act according to the requirements which you have so that is the reason i am telling you that you can do it both the ways all right
Thank you for watching this video.